Hey St. John's, this is Pastor Jeremy Schultz, and we've got an exciting time of worship coming up this weekend, and so I want to tell you a little bit about what you can expect. Um, first of all, we're going to have live worship again at St. John's. We're going to have four services. The times have changed a little bit, like we've let you know, but you can hop online and register right now. We're, we're capping each worship worshiping capacity at 120 and they are filling up so please just right after this video go to our website uh, register your attendance and you can see all the requirements for uh, keeping that safe that are listed there for you as well so that's this weekend looking forward to that now if you're worshiping at home this weekend with us in a digital way that is awesome too um, and we're trying to make that as best as possible so we've had a slight change uh, starting this week, we're actually going to be um, live streaming the 930 service on Sunday morning. So if you are accustomed to watching that service Saturday night or earlier than 930 on Sunday morning, we're going to ask you to pivot. Um, that service will be ready for you again in a live streaming capacity at 930 Sunday morning or thereafter. So a little bit of a change. Why the change? Uh, the change is because we believe that uh, now that we're worshiping with crowds of people, that 930 service, um, it's looking like it's already at capacity. So we know that's going to be a lively uh, fellowship and group that we're going to be a part of. But also just we're going to be able to support that service vocally and musically in, in a great way. So we think it's just going to it's just going to be a great service for all of you in our online community. So whether you're worshiping in a live way or online, um, we honor that and look forward to having you join us and us joining you as we share God's word together. Now, let me tell you a little bit about our brand new worship uh, sermon series, and uh, we're calling it Only Jesus. And I gotta tell you, there's a reason for that. Um, Back last fall, when I was just sort of plotting out all the preaching themes for 2020 and looking at God's Word and just thinking about our Christian community here at St. John's, uh, we had something else planned for the start of this summer. Um, what it was going to be was something that we were going to call You Asked For It, and it was from those dryer sheets from our Fresh Start sermon series way back in January, if you can remember that. We were going to delve into those topics that you literally asked for well, friends, that does seem like a distant memory. Um, in light of everything that's happened these recent months and this past week, what's on my heart to give you is only Jesus. And not something that we've packaged together and we're calling it this and we've got these graphics and we're figuring out what passage is. No, we're just going to go into what's called the lectionary system of readings. And, and right now, those are found in Matthew's Gospel. So we're going to pick it up starting this week in Matthew chapter 6, where, where Jesus commands us and, and invites us, rather, to, to not worry. And saying we don't have to worry about, uh, about all these things that we commonly do, because he is our loving Father in heaven, and he gives us abundantly from everything that we need. And he places an incredible value on us. That, that, that's what you're going to hear. You're going to hear just from Jesus, only Jesus. And so that's what we're calling this sermon series coming up starting this week. And I hope you're really, really, really going to enjoy that as much as, as we are just putting it together right now and looking at God's word and, and dreaming about what that's going to be like for all of you. So uh, we'll look, we're looking forward to that. There's one other thing I can tell you real quick that you can just keep the staff at St. John's in your prayers right now. There's about 15 members of the church staff that this week are going to be just working with a consultant. Um, and, and, and that's because we just want to be God's servants in the best way possible to, to, to be our very best, to um, facilitate kingdom growth, to to facilitate a, a growth of faith in, in all of our hearts and a, and a clear avenue for the Holy Spirit to build us all up. So would you please keep uh, the church staff, the whole staff, but especially there's about 15 of us that are going to be um, in, a, in an on-site retreat for about two and a half days. I'm really looking forward to this. I'm praying about this, and I want to invite you to pray about it as well. And pray for our church at St. John's that we can continue to grow in faith in our Lord Jesus Christ 
as we hear only from him, only Jesus. God's richest blessings to you, and we'll see you soon.